What is going on guys? Today I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the Skull Candy Inked Bluetooth headphones. And before we start, I have a tip for those of you who like to research stuff and know about your products before you purchase them. And many of you are probably already use this uh, user review website or some kind of you know website like such as Amazon and read the reviews on there. But if you guys are looking for a good and honest review website, check out thewirecutter.com. I use their website every time before I purchase any sort of product. For a while now, I've been looking for a good replacement option to a standard uh, earbud, headset, wired headphone. And um, I purchased some aftermarket ones from Bayer Dynamics and Koss, use Samsung and others. But the problem I always ran into was the same. And eventually I'd rip the cord either by pulling the jack out of the phone or the buds out of my ear. And I just tried tucking the wire under my shirt, but that just causes the mic to be stuck under it. And there's a whole bunch of problems. And Depending on the cord length, tucking it in also prevents from the phone being pulling, being, able, being able to pull the phone up to your face. And a few years back, I tried some Bluetooth headphones, and I found the battery life to be kind of just not good enough for my needs. And recently, I decided to give it a second chance. So after using the Skull Candy ink for a couple of weeks now, here's what I can tell you. I wanted something that would not be in the way, and I can honestly say I can barely remember that I'm wearing them. And I find that they're very comfortable, super light, and when they're not in my ears, I don't really feel them. I'm not sure what the rubber earbud is made out of, but there seems to be some kind of earbud rubber like material such as any other headphones and they're very comfortable and without the weight of the cord pulling on them, they stay in my ears all day without adjustment. And thanks to the little rubber band on the collar, I can adjust the slack and make sure the wires aren't in the way. The quality of the sound is pretty good also and comparing it to the wired buyer dynamics, I can hardly tell the difference. I like the placement and the operation of the controls and I found them to be working just fine when listening to podcasts, music, or picking up a phone call. And nothing fancy, just straightforward, simple operation. You will not have any problems locating the controls, the size, feel, and placement of the buttons works great. And best of all, I was looking for something that would last for the day. While Skull Candy claims to get an 8 hour battery life, on my first day I was able to listen to a podcast continuously and answer calls for 11 hours straight. In fact, I got home and they are still alive. They are definitely plasticky and feel somewhat cheap in the hand. That to me goes w with the price though, and the noise isolating earbuds aren't any different than any other earbuds, and in my experience, the deeper you jam them in your ear, the better they isolate, which is kind of obvious. They aren't water or sweat proof, yet there is a rubber cover over the USB charge port, which can be difficult to open sometimes, and if not pushed in properly, pops open. Not a big deal, but could use some improvement in design. And I found the Bluetooth range short for the most part. Having the phone on the body is the best way to ensure sound quality. And lastly, the USB port can be difficult to use with the rubber cover hanging in the way. Charging the headphones can take a couple of hours for a full charge, but since they last so long as they do, I'm not really considering it a problem. All in all, I'm very happy with this purchase and I can see myself using these for a long time to come. Anyone using their hands at work or moving around a lot should definitely consider these. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Peace.